I mean, the key bit obviously is the CLM capabilities themselves, but also consider why that's why you're bringing a CLM into the business. What are you looking to achieve? And more than likely, it's actually business transformation rather than purely legal transformation. So make sure you've got the legal the legal bits there. Um, but then also, like, how does this impact the rest of the business? How can you provide that legal service to the rest of the business? And how are you actually going to optimise those? Because I'd, uh, I'd expect that in most cases, it's interacting with the rest of the business that takes the is the most time consuming. So pure CLM is probably not going to have as much of an impact on those as the, like I say, the integrations into the rest of the business. So there's obviously a lot of CLMs in the market, all do very similar things to be totally frank, a um, few bits here and a few bits there, but very much very similar. I think where Surmise takes it is we've got all those capabilities from a CLM perspective, but we've taken a, a much wider view on the how that CLM works with the rest of the business rather than purely the legal team. And I think those are the bits that really resonate when we're talking to people both customers that we're looking to get and uh, we've already got is around those, those pieces with the wider business needs, how legal can help those. And I think that that really um, helps the legal team from with their own functions, you know, helps optimise those from a pure CLM perspective, but then the wider business also gets the integration into that. And I think that's really where Surmise stands out in this market. We continue to evolve the Surmise story and obviously our customers that we've got on that journey as well and listen and learn. We're always looking to listen and learn from our customers and bring that into the product. So continued evolution, always exciting. I think from a, a wider tech perspective with the tech hat on, obviously like towards the end of 2022, we saw fairly widespread um, media coverage around advances in AI, particularly to do with like image generation and some of the interesting things going on in that area and also um, like ChatGBT, so looking from a chat perspective. I think we've got some interesting projects that we're running on at the moment with Inside Surmise, and we're looking to hopefully bring some of those to, to the product to kind of continue to evolve our offering.